there, Ian here to tell you about what's new in Google Ads API version 9. This release has plenty of new features and improvements, so let's get into it. In version 9, we've added support for Performance Max campaigns. Performance Max campaigns allow you to promote your products or services across the Google network by creating one easy to manage campaign. The campaigns are goal oriented and they provide a unified buying service for virtually all Google Ads inventory. Performance Max campaigns allocate budgets dynamically to the highest performing channels, including YouTube, Display, Search, Discover, Gmail, and Maps, eliminating the need for advertisers to update budgets across multiple campaigns. For Google Shopping developers, Performance Max represents a superset of smart shopping campaigns and includes some additional benefits, such as language targeting, store targeting, additional inventory, and final URL expansion. It also permits the setting of conversion goals on a per campaign basis in addition to per customer. To understand how to use them, we've created a guide on our developer site, so go ahead and check it out. If you are using conversion actions, you can now create conversion goals. This new resource helps you organize your conversion actions so they can more easily optimize towards your advertising objectives. They can be configured by origin and category and can control whether Google Ads will bid and optimize towards an associated conversion action. If this sounds interesting, more details on how to configure them can be found in the conversion goals guide on our developer site. Are you interested in smart campaigns? Then I have good news for you. The API feature is now in open beta. We've also added the ability to leverage your company's business details to suggest keyword themes for your smart campaign. You can find the new suggestion method by following the link in the description. If you have been using the media file object to represent videos and images, then you should now use the asset base representations, add video asset and add image asset. Video ad formats that use the companion banner field will now use add image asset and formats that use the video field will now use add video asset. There are a few other changes related to videos, so check the release notes carefully. If you are measuring conversions on iOS, then we made some improvements in line with Apple's app tracking transparency policy. Conversion upload service now supports conversion uploads with braid identifiers in place of GCLID. Braid identifiers are used for clicks associated with conversions from iOS 14 devices. Please be aware this feature is currently only available to allow listed customers, so speak to your Google representative. For SK Ad Network conversions, you can now distinguish between a conversion value of zero and no conversion value present in the postback received from Apple. This change is visible in reports by using segmentation for SK Ad Network conversions that are received after September the 20th, 2021. You can find more details under the reporting section of the release notes. We've been busy preparing Google Ads API for the support of more asset types in the future. So in version 9 we've added support for asset sets, a collection of assets that will eventually replace the feed service. We are also adding the following additional asset types, scheduled to be available in all accounts in the future. These include price assets, hotel callout assets, mobile app assets, call assets and call to action assets. Users of responsive search ads may be interested in using ad customizers, available for customers, campaigns, ad groups and ad group criterion in this release. Ad customizers allow you to automatically update aspects of your ads such as text or price. For more information on implementing ad customizers, see our guide and examples. If you use hotel ads, you can now access hotel reconciliation information via Google Ads API. This includes conversion information associated with hotel bookings which can be reconciled with data from ads. See the fields available in the reporting section of our developer site. In order to speed up your migration to the new Google Ads API, we have significantly reduced the set of required functionality to obtain or maintain a developer token. Remember, the old AdWords API will sunset in April 2022. As you can see, we have many exciting new features to explore in this release, but we still have more updates and improvements in our other areas, such as these. See the video description for the release notes, including links and more details. If you like this content, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. For future announcements, click the notification button and subscribe to the Google Ads Developer blog. As always, thanks for watching and happy developing.